What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Lunar Classic video. I'm here in Bali, so the background is a little bit different. If you want to check out what I'm seeing right now, come over and follow me on Instagram. If you did want to come over and talk to me directly about Terra Luna Classic or the overall cryptocurrency market, you can come over and join the Patreon. The link is down there in my description. And let's jump straight into this video. So look at that. The market is red today. We had a very nice weekend. Bitcoin was doing nice. The overall market's nice. But now Monday morning or maybe even Sunday night for you guys, the market is red, most coins down around five to 6%. And we got Bitcoin still looking pretty nice to me at 22, wait, 22,209. We are around the line where I would love to see a bounce. You see here, we had one test here around 21.7, another test here, 21.9. We broke through, we tested this line at 22.5, came back down and then we broke through that line. So where we are right now would be a nice little retest zone, but we do have a very big week coming this week. So it's gonna affect the market a lot depending on what's gonna happen. And of course that will affect Luna Classic a lot. Heading over to the crypto uh, coin market cap, we can see we are still above that $1 trillion mark, but Terra Classic right now down almost 2%. But as you know, the overall market is down 6%. So this is good news for Terra Classic, right? If a lot of other bigger cryptos are down 6%, it's nice to see that people aren't selling off as much in Terra Classic. We have the volume though down to 53 million, which is much, much lower than where we were before. If this sort of volume was to stay it would take many, many years for this burn to actually do really anything to the price. So please keep that in mind if you're expecting 10 cents, a dollar, even one cent anytime soon. It most likely will not happen unless the market moves back into another bull run. With that said, we did have news here from EK826. They have finalized the internal testing. We are now in the process of gathering independent reviews from members outside of our community, as well as security auditing firms. We are also gathering suggestions from the community and validators on the forums and other discord telegram channels so if you want to put forward some of your suggestions definitely do that but they're still working hard to get this tax implemented and continue with the ecosystem we have had some rumors out there that binance is now implementing a trading fee i've seen a few different tweets saying this you can see here there's a trading fee here it seems to be around one percent or even 0.01 percent here but I think that this is simply just the trading fees, right? We've always had trading fees on Binance and all the centralized exchanges, and I'm pretty sure this is just a normal trading fee, although it would be great to see them implement the 1.2% burn tax. I don't think that's what's happening right now, but I may be wrong, right? So do take everything you see on Twitter with a pinch of salt. Go and do your own research before you decide that they're already implementing that burn, right? So the things that we have this week to look out for that are going to affect the market. First of all, we got the dollar currency index. We had a little bit of a pullback. This is where we saw a little bit of a bounce in the market when the DXY starts to pull back the crypto market stocks and shares seem to bounce as you know when the market trends downwards when the DXY trends downwards we get bull markets right but now the DXY seems to be having a little bounce again which won't be good for the market so that's one thing to watch next of all of course we have the Fed is likely to stick to a 75% basis point hike we're going to find out about this this week so very important if this is worse than expected of course it's going to be bad for the market bad for Luna Classic and and then we also this month will find out whether or not we're in a recession on the 28th of July. So this week is going to be huge for the crypto markets. I expect it to be super volatile. If the market overall goes down, if Bitcoin goes down, this will definitely 100% in my opinion affect Terra Classic. So do please pay attention if you are investing into this dollar cost average. Go slowly. Don't bet everything on one thing. Don't keep all your eggs in one basket. And do, like I said, take everything you see on Twitter with a pinch of salt because it's not all facts, right? So that's what I'm here to give you guys both sides of the coin, give you a clear understanding of what I think is going on. Hopefully you like that. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.